Hey there, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Gonna do an instructional video today on how to set up the Samsung frame TVs and other Samsung TVs uh, via the iOS store. So this will involve uh, setting up your account, getting into the App Store, um, setting up smart things, and attaching your TV to your Apple device. Uh, pretty simple video, but a lot of steps. Hopefully this will help out some customers and help out the YouTube community. Thanks a lot. Okay, so let's jump right into this. A uh, couple quick notes. Your uh, Samsung TV needs to be on Wi-Fi or hardwired, and you need to agree to the Samsung terms and conditions. So basically, you need to have your original base TV set up and uh, operating before moving on to these steps. And you're going to want to make sure your phone is on the same Wi-Fi or same network as your Samsung TV. Other than that, uh, going through is basic App Store setup. So you're going to want to go to the App Store, going to search for Samsung TV or Samsung Frame TV. It will pull up the Smart Things app and you're going to want to download the Smart Things app. Okay, so then the next step is going to get to a landing page that's going to say control your devices. You're going to want to skip through those and hit the start button. Once you've hit the start button, you land on a favorites page. Now you need to sign into a Samsung account or create a Samsung account. I recommend if you're creating an account, then set that up on user PC or Mac to set up the account and then jump back into the iPhone to do the rest of this. So once you've signed in, you're going to hit the plus button. You're going to hit the add device button. There is an additional option where you can just scan for devices. You may opt to try that. This goes through each individual step, assuming your phone didn't scan it and find it. And the second more detailed option allows you to scroll down, select TV, you hit Samsung, and then a list of TVs in your house will show up. In our case, the Samsung 32 inch frame. It gets the device ready. And now you wanna locate the screen and you have to add a room. In our case, we're gonna add office. So we'll type in office. And now you hit save. And now you hit next. And again, we're gonna select our Samsung 32 inch. And now it connects to the device. And then what it does is it pulls up a pin number on the TV, as you can see. So this is real time. We type our pin number in and hit done. TV now is working on being registered. Success. And so once it does that, it'll pop up and, and say, okay, we've done this. And now you have full control of your frame TV. The other thing to note is it will pull up a, a thing to allow TV access from your phone. So that's a third step that I see a bunch of videos missing and clients have missed. If you hit deny, you have a heck of a time working on any of the future stuff as far as uh, adding frame TV photos or uh, doing some automation and control. So I hope this video works. It's uh, not super detailed, but it's step by step and uh, tried to go as slow as I could on it. And uh, look out for some other videos on adding artwork to the frame TV, uh, basic frame TV installation, and frame TV uh, first time setup. Thanks a lot. 